Hey, it's Jung. Excuse the setup. I'm doing a wall facing wall split, which is one of my favorite stretches after a workout and I'm multitasking because I wanted to um, expand on a fit tip and several other uh, mentions that I have made regarding what the um, what it really means to be healthy versus fit and that you don't have to be fit to be healthy and actually you could be fit and not even be healthy so let's break this down because from a trainer standpoint I use the word fit extremely specifically so if we consider our whole spectrum of our entire life of our physical uh, health and physical activity we can consider that our entire fitness journey. And that journey is made up of a continuum of different phases which blend into each other via progression. So health is your number one phase. With progression, you can move into fit and different levels of fitness within fit and then you will progress into athleticism and then into specific performance goals. Most people are at the phase of health the entire life. They may tread into fitness, great. They may get into fitness, great. But most people stay within health, in the health phase. That means as long as you are uh, able to perform the activities of daily living, going to the grocery store, going up and down the stairs, carrying your groceries, playing with your baby, you know, going for um, just whatever normal activities that you want to do, and you're able to get your minimum 150 minutes of moderate aerobic exercise a week for adults as long as your body composition is okay as long as you have functional mobility and you're not at risk in order to uh, you're not at risk of hurting yourself and as long as your you know cholesterol level your blood work is okay or even if it's not as long as it's managed so if you're able to do that, and by the way, um, I'm very sorry to say this, but the 10,000 steps, that's not the minimum um, activity. That's not necessarily the 150 minutes of moderate aerobic activity. It really depends on the, um, on the, the exertion level and the intensity. So most of the time, the 10,000 steps that people are counting, is literally just like the minimum movement to stay alive okay we're talking about relatively healthy so if you feel good you know you're totally happy with the way um you know you 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 look and feel and all those other numbers are are in line great now once you get into fitness phase then we uh, get a little bit more intensive or aggressive about tracking certain areas of fitness, right? So um, the two main ones would be your cardio endurance and your muscular endurance, but which is different from strength, which would include strength, and then also agility, coordination, flexibility. There's a lot of ways that we could break it down and actually measure the progress. And you know, this is your fitness, um, fit phase of the fitness journey, okay? Now, if you're fit in terms of these muscular, you know, endurance numbers and cardio numbers, but let's say, you know, you have bad um, cholesterol or something like that, then you could be fit and kind of have bypassed the healthy. So that's where there could be a little murky area. And then most people will 
who hit the fitness phase, or who hit the fit phase, I'm sorry, will basically stay somewhere, you know, progressing within that range. Because most of us are not professional athletes or have no desire to be. Most of us will not then, you know, start getting into competition for specific performance goals. But, you know, that's totally, um, like I said, a blended phasing of progression and you could drop down, progress, drop down, progress. So but like I said, most people are gonna stay in the health zone, which is totally fine. Not everybody wants to you know, um, exert themselves to the level of um, the amount of conditioning and uh, intensity that's needed to get into a fit stage where you're actually going to make changes to your body competition comp composition, um, where you're actually going to make marked improvement in specific areas of agility, coordination, flexibility, strength, all of that. Um, you know, not everybody is someone like me who's not really on the high end of the fitness buff, but you know, I get into a zone with with my workouts where it's like meditation that's active and passive at the same time i used to focus so hard on my movements that um with that intensity of the focus i would actually make myself cry um i don't think i've got that mental agility anymore at my age i mean i can't focus that hard but it's hard enough you know where it's it's like um, i don't know if you've ever done um the sensory deprivation uh, rooms, like a, like the float, the float tanks, which I've done, I love, but that's very passive, right? Meditation, in a way, is passive. I mean, yes, you have to, um, you have to hone the skill, but with the physical activities that I do and the focus and the concentration, I mean, it's like a whole. There, there, I can't compare it to anything else, and I will never give it up you know get into a point where you're just so focused and your muscles are burning and your sweat is pouring and the only thing you could do is drink your own sweat um and i mean unable to think of anything else except for that physical movement and being present with your body your mind i mean there's nothing that will you know, stop me from doing this. But I understand most people don't want to be huffing and puffing, or a lot of people don't. So you can completely stay in the healthy zone. Um, yet still, maintenance will still take a lot of work. So I just wanted to tell you that I'm a stickler about that word fit. So when people say you have to be fit, you know, in life, no, you don't have to be fit. You could be completely healthy. You could, um, you still need to work with a trainer uh, if you're not in the healthy zone to get into the healthy zone. But, you know, or that's what I recommend. And it, I don't say that just because I'm a trainer, but um, because it's, it's, a, it's mind, body, it's everything together, you know. Anyway, that's my little spiel on being healthy versus fit and there's plenty that we could focus on just in the healthy phase but I hope everyone will at least dabble in the fitness journey because you know that seeing I mean even even that very quick reaction of your heart rate going up of sweat coming out to see such a quick and direct uh, consequence of something you're doing, proof of progress, proof of something working. I mean, there's just so much that you can get out of exercise and working out and getting into, you know, gauging your level of fitness um, that I, I highly encourage it. But at the same time, I envy all the time that people have who don't. So. Anyway, take it out what you will, but 